Hello and welcome to the Industry Transition Summit. Thank you for joining us today from wherever you are in the world. I'm Nick Gowing, your chair for this two-day summit, which is today, Tuesday, and also on Thursday. The Industry Transition Summit is part of Climate Action's Transition Months. Our aim is to bring together key stakeholders, driving sustainable and net zero transition from policy and regulation to innovation, to technology, to investment, to build and maintain momentum over the next six months before COP26 and beyond. Well, as you just saw, today's summit is part of a much wider transition story with a particular focus on industry. Industry accounts for roughly 30% of global CO2 emissions. Demand for industrial produce is just rising and rising. Technologies including hydrogen, electrification, biomass and digitization will be critical for industrial actors to cut emissions and achieve the 1.5 degree scenario from the Paris Agreement. There's a need for key stakeholders to come together to drive momentum towards industrial decarbonization. And that's what we are here to discuss over these two days. We have more than 1,500 attendees today. So welcome to you all, wherever you are. We hope you appreciate what you hear from our experts and from the discussions. Let's look at the program coming up. Today and Thursday, we have four sessions. We'll bring together leaders from industry, from finance, from policy, and from government. You can see what lies ahead there. Across these four sessions, we'll ask critical questions on industrial decarbonization. Session one, just coming up shortly. The big question, how can policy shape our way forward and encourage investment? Encourage investment, yes. Session two explores green metals. Will hydrogen policy um, and be the silver bullet uh, for these hard to abate materials. Session three will be on Thursday. It'll examine how far can technology go. And finally, session four, also on Thursday, will dive into what can be achieved through uh, greater efficiencies. So there are the four sessions, the main substantive sessions ahead with other contributions as well. Your host today, Climate Action, have been working for 14 years at the intersection of policy, of innovation uh, and finance. Their mission remains to accelerate and, yes, speed up the transition towards a global green economy and achieve those aims for the Paris Agreement. Are they still achievable? Do connect with Climate Action throughout the summit and uh, their uh, address is there at climate underscore action underscore at climate underscore action underscore. This is the next stage now on the Climate Action Roadmap to COP26. It's designed as a platform to help organizations raise their ambitions 
before Glasgow in November. And that's just six months away now. This really is our last chance to keep the world on track for a maximum 1.5 degree increase in temperature. Far greater commitment is needed. The US climate czar, John Kerry, said only last week, we are nowhere near where we need to be, where we have to be to match and to reach 1.5 degree and stop it going any further. Who are our partners today? Well, the headline partner, we're very grateful to them. Uh, F.L. Smith, uh, a leading provider of innovative engineering, equipment and service solutions to the global mining and cement industries. We'll hear from their CEO in just a moment. Thank you also to our other partners, to Ferro Labs and to Hydro, to Carbon Trust, our strategic partner, to uh, Energy Transitions, the Energy Transitions Commission for their cooperation throughout, and all our institutional and media partners. You can see them there for their support and endorsement. I should just tell you this is being recorded and all sessions will be available on demand. Don't forget at any stage to give us your feedback. Uh, hopefully it'll be good feedback. And how can you ask questions? Click on the live discussion. You can see the button there. Type your questions into the box. Let us know what organizations you're from, where you are, and who you'd like the question asked to. And please don't sit on your hands. Start the questions coming in as soon as you can. Then there's a chance I'll be able to put them to the people who are speaking. Via social media, you can uh, contact us on uh, hashtag Climate Action Live. There you can see uh, the address at the bottom. And also at underscore Climate Action. And there are two underscores there in the address. What's coming up today? Um, the big questions. First up, the opening address from our headline partner, F.L. Smith. Then we'll uh, go into how mining and cement can decarbonize. I'll be joined by Peter Flanagan from uh, F.L. Smith and also Andrea Vaccari from uh, Freeport McMoran. And then we'll have uh, a policy di discussion, a panel discussion, looking at policy as a tool. In what ways is policy unlocking action for industry and investors. Then we'll take a couple of hours off, uh, a break until 1400 BST, UK time, for session two. So let's get started, not to waste any time. We're delighted to present our opening address. We're joined by Thomas Schultz, who's CEO of FL Smith, headquartered in Denmark. Hello, everybody. I would like to send a warm hello here out of Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark. It is an honor to be the keynote speaker on our event. It's especially an honor because we just joined the group for the science-based target initiative. We as F.H. Schmidt, we worked for more than a hundred years in cement and mining industry. Each generation in both industries had a special target set, direction or motivation. The motivation of the current generation is to make both industries more sustainable. To make that happen, you have to put an ambition, an ambition which actually untapped innovation power, motivation in your own group and in the whole industry where you act in. We did that by declaring mission zero for Eiffel Schmidt. And mission zero for us in cement as well as in mining means that we will provide technology which enables the cement and the mining industry to be emission neutral in the year 2030. We see for the future a big demand of more infrastructure. We will have more people on earth we will have a higher demand for a better life. And that all triggers more infrastructure. And cement is an essential part to offer building materials to make that infrastructure happen. The cement industry has to over contribute in fulfilling sustainable targets. The products out of mining industry are all over. They are an infrastructure, they are in electrical mobility, they are in digital products, they are in energy products. No matter where you look, you have metals around you. The demand for metals is significantly increasing. 
And on top of it, with the green transition more into some commodities than we had it before. Copper is significantly increasing in demand. Without copper, it is very difficult to make a more digitalized and electrified world. But that will happen. So mining plays with a lot of commodities an essential part of the sustainability in the world and creating a better future. Cement delivers between 7 to 8 percent of the world's CO2. There are several ways to go. One is that you decarbonize the standard regular production of cement industry. Every one of you heard about carbon capture, for example, as a result or as one of the process steps. But there are other ways. Instead of using limestone, you can use other primary, secondary or tertiary resources. For example, clay to substitute limestone in the process. Our focus in Effel Schmidt in one area of the mining industry is to reduce the taken of fresh water and to increase significantly the reutilization of process water. That will not only help the environment with significant less water into the mining industry, it helps actually our customers to improve processes and the performance of their plants. We saw in the last few years a big development in sustainability. But digitalization is a similar important movement. But this big change is necessary because it supports technology in a large extent. All the high-tech what we need to implement, all the high-tech, what we need to innovate is only possible in a digitalized environment. So digitalization is for our mining and cement industry an important base of working to be successful as a positive contributor to all the societies, no matter where we operate. The mining and cement industry is as other industries very competitive, not only on our customer side, on our own side too. And we in Effel Schmidt, we think that's beneficial, that's good. Because competition tees you, competition demands, competition untaps potential in your own organizations to do things better than your peer. That triggers more innovation more open mind to do things differently. And that is what we need if we want to have cement and mining industry being more sustainable. I would like to wish you all a great conference, a lot of input, a lot of communication, a lot of contact and very, very successful outcome. Stay safe no matter where you are. Bye. Thomas Schultz there, CEO of FL Schmidt. Thanks for that. And let me underline a couple of things he said. A major cement producer and mining corporate saying cement must over contribute to meet sustainability targets, setting emission neutral by 2030. The need for a more open mind, as Mr. Schultz put it, and intensifying of digitalization to improve processes and reduce costs.